many nerds did you sleep with last night? And I thought Comic Con felt bad on the outside. It's just you. Welcome back to your Geekly News. We're reporting live from the geek capital of the world, San Diego Comic Con. Maude, I see you're cosplaying as a mentally ill gorilla. And it's like someone shaved all of their pubic hair off and you decided to roll in it. First up, Ben Affleck, or Batfleck as some call him, who due to his upcoming Batman v Superman film where he squares off with the caped man from Krypton, is officially going to direct the first standalone Batfleck film with veteran comic book writer and chief creative officer at DC Comics, Jeff Johns, who's writing the film along with Affleck. The film will happen right after the Justice League movie, which is rumored to be announced and fully casted here at San Diego Comic-Con, and could be called simply The Batman. It's unknown whether the film will be a direct chronological sequel to Batman v Superman or take place earlier, but it's way too early to tell. Just like it's too early to tell that Steve here is three months pregnant. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Not I'm actually much. just constipated. I will drop that boy off at the pool right after this shoot. In Ghostbusters news, it seems to be lighting the internet ablaze with set photo after set photo being leaked and released online, a new vehicle, one that previously had not existed in the Ghostbusters universe, being called the Ecto-2 was revealed, and it's a motorcycle with a ghost gun on it. Not a very safe mode of transportation, nor practical for catching ghosts, but what do I know? Oh, I hate it when you make it so easy for me because you know it's not much. This comes hot off the heels of the Ecto-1 reveal last week and more casting being locked down. The movie seems to be veering even further from the original film, which we already knew, but it's still interesting to witness. And there's also an unofficial shot of the stars in the film in their new suits that popped up on the web. This is before any official reveal, so please be advised it is not super well lit or photoshopped, like Steve's face. You're a face. <laughs> That's very clever. In news that left people with a bad case of the sads, fans of Street Fighter thought that they were in for a treat when getting a look at new characters for Street Fighter V. It turns out that their special reveals were not so special at all. By confirming, Ken in the upcoming game. You're kidding, right? Alongside Ryu, Ken is the most iconic and known character of Street Fighter. Saying he's in the game is like saying zombies will be in The Walking Dead again this season. Scoff! That's not all. Capcom announced that the comic book crossover where M. Bison from Street Fighter teams up with G.I. Joe's Cobra Commander to seize control of the world, to which the crowd responded with loud boos. I'm sure you're used to hearing loud boos wherever you go, Mod, including the pharmacy where you go daily to get your genital wart cream. Now, if you're a fan of that intergalactic space opera... The, the what? You just say it. Why won't you say what it is? It's Star Wars. You know what? Applying my tragic American accent to those words is definitely my Achilles heel, and thank you for rubbing it in. <laughs> Star Wars. There it is. You got it. Thank Star you. Wars. <laughs> well, more information about the 20 new books scheduled to be released leading up to The Force Awakens this December has been announced, including titles, covers, and plot lines. All these books will be canon, meaning the tales are officially a part of the Star Wars universe and are said to give a greater understanding of your favorite original characters like Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, all before Episode 7 comes out. Hey, speaking of Star Wars, rumors are circulating that a director for Episode 9 has been found. Jurassic World director Colin Trevorrow could be jumping into light speed. You say par sex, I say the sex was par. Ha <laughs> ha! We may be jumping the gun here, but the panel that could be confirming this news is taking place this afternoon, and we'll leave you on a fun note in this special edition of Geekly News to inform you that Bill Murray completely stole the show this Comic-Con. Mm, it's true. The legend himself graced his panel for upcoming movie Rock the Cat's Bar, where over 6,500 people heard him talk about dressing up and joking that he had a taser on him because he didn't know what to expect. Maude, I know you carry a taser on you, but the batteries must be dead by this point because you've never used it before because no one wants to touch you. I've tasered you twice. One of our very own crew members on SourceFed said they bumped into him roaming the show floor. I, for one, think it's a lie. To try and find him again is our very own field reporter, Sam Basher. Sam, can you see Bill Murray out there on the floor? Bill? 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 Well, I guess it was a one-time thing. Kind of like making me have an orgasm in the bedroom. Well, that's all we have time for in this special edition of Your Geekly News. I'm Maude Garrett. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. And, and when we, we know, know, you'll know. know. I like that you're wearing the throne today, Maude. I had almost thrown up seeing you this morning. Well, you won't be getting a throner, will you? No, I sure won't. Not when I see you.
take a second and learn about Danny Rand, aka the Immortal Iron Fist, and you'll see why his introduction into the MCU would be a bit of a game changer. Now into the weird stuff. 